So Two Rivers Coalition is a volunteer watershed group. Uh, so we have the Black River Watershed and the Papa River Watershed. We're sort of a gerrymandered watershed group because these are not hydrologically connected watersheds. But uh, what we do, so we cover the main stem of the Papa, but we do not cover the largest tributary of the Papa River, which is this big green one here. This is the Big South Branch of Papa. <laughs> someday we've got our eye on it. Someday we may include that in our watershed work as well. Um, so what I'm here to talk to you today is not the technical, cool stuff that everybody else is talking about. I'm talking about fun stuff you can do with the watershed group to really uh, <laughs> generate some enthusiasm. <laughs> Most important thing for a small watershed group is to have partners, okay, to uh, have relationships with other environmental groups. Uh, Van Buren County Conservation District is one of our main partners, and we do lots of cool things together. For instance, this is the fifth year that we've been doing um, macroinvertebrate monitoring. Uh, and uh, it's just amazing that we can get, you know, we do it in partnership with the Conservation District, and we get 25 to 30 people to come out twice a year, get cold, wet, and muddy, and identify uh, insects that we find in, in the rivers. So that, that's a really cool uh, project that we have lots of people that are enthusiastic. We've been doing river cleanups uh, for years, uh, and you find that you actually do more, the more paddlers you get on your board, the more cleanups you do. But uh, it's, it's something that you know, it's a, has a visible impact. And you would not believe some of the stuff that we've hauled out of the river over the last 10 years. Uh, and it, it gets worse, actually. Um, so the next slide. <laughs> so the DEQ actually used this in a statewide presentation a few years ago, bragging about the River Rescue Program. And I said, wait up, that's Two Rivers Coalition. Papa River, again, is first. You know, something. <laughs> Another thing that we do, uh, we're accused of ignoring the Black River sometimes. So once a year, we get together with the Black River Water Trail people and the Southwest Michigan Land Conservancy, and we do this joint event where we hike, we eat lunch, and we paddle on the Black River. Um, started the coli monitoring. So I was really worried when I pulled up the first bucket of water, it was yellow. It's like, ooh, but what does this mean? Turns out I had just caught the plume uh, of the uh, sea lamprey control that was coming down. Another project that we're involved with is the Papa River Water Trail. And so this is actually a stealth campaign to turn paddlers into environmentalists. Now, why do we want to do that? This is why. Remember his graph at the beginning about why the Papa River is not flashy compared to the Elkhart? This floodplain forest corridor is what's so key. This is why we are not a flashy river, and we want to make sure this is protected as we develop this water trail concept. People from Indiana are thinking right now, he slipped in a slide from somewhere else. This is nowhere in the Michiana area. Untrue. This is what the Papa main stem of the Papa River looks like in Vander and Con. Uh, community paddles are really important, and we're using this to help promote this water trail concept, get people to see the river that's flowing through their backyard, and get them to care about it and turn them into stewards. Um, so. We work with the Southwest Michigan Planning Commission. We helped coordinate uh, a lot of work on the water trail last year, and we were able to get over 70 miles of the river to get uh, a pathway cut through. So the DNR in Michigan, um, they don't want you taking out all the woody debris. Woody debris is important. It's the home for aquatic insects. So what, this is what we're striving for. So there's still a lot of woody debris in the stream, but there's room for canoes and kayaks to get through. Uh, basically, I went out with all the crews, and sometimes I just had to turn away because I did not want to see what's about to happen. <laughs> but, you know, recreational boating has changed, okay? What's happening is that canoeing and paddling yes. is going crazy. 20 million people in the U.S. Yeah. recreational kayak or canoe. Yeah. And we want to provide accesses for those people, uh, but not... Yeah. <laughs> I've been hacked. This is not my slide now. 
I, I don't know how this got in there. I have no idea who this person covered with duckweed even is. But I do recognize the stream in the background. It's, it's Ox Creek. So if, if there are any presentations about Ox Creek today, you might say, why would you want to have full body immersion in a stream that's got a TMDL? That's, that's up to you.